morning everyone and welcome to today's um, chair yoga session. Hope you're all coping in this very strange time we found ourselves in. Um, the social isolation and um, the lack of movement can be very draining both physically and emotionally. And it's my hope that with this chair sequence that you are able to feel a little bit more mobile and a little bit um, healthier and happier by the end of our session today. So what you're going to need to do is to find yourself a comfortable chair, preferably one that you can bring your feet flat onto the floor in with the knees in line with the hips. If you prefer to use a large Pilates ball, that's another option. Or any, um, you can even sit on the side of a bed if that's all that is available to you. So we'll just start today by sitting up nice and tall, resting the hands down to the thighs. You can take your fingers into a mudra if it's comfortable bringing your forefinger and thumb to touch and spreading the other three fingers wide. Soften your shoulders down your back. Take a lovely deep inhale breath. Then as you exhale, closing your eyes. We're going to inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhaling, chest ribs and belly. Inhaling from the base of the spine up to the crown of the head. And then exhaling from the crown of the head down to the base of the spine. Bring your mind's eye now to the base of the spine and imagine as though you're drawing energy up out of the earth and it's funneling into the base of the spine. This energy is stable, it is strong, it is secure. And as you inhale, you feel it lifting up the spine watching it rise through the body until it reaches the crown of the head. And you're going to release those sensations out through the crown of the skull into the universe. Rotating the energy now as you breathe in through the crown, breathing in sensations of connection, of creativity, of openness. And with every inhale, you feel that draw down through that spine, all the way to the base of the tailbone, and moving from the tailbone into the earth. As you continue to breathe in belly, ribs, chest, chest, ribs, belly, grounding through the earth, connecting through the universe. And then on your next exhale breath, slowly lowering your chin to your chest. Let your head hang heavy here, keeping the rest of the spine upright and the shoulders reaching slightly away from the ears. On your inhale breath, bringing right ear to right shoulder. And keeping the right ear to the right shoulder, turn the chin slightly down towards the chest, and then turn the chin slightly up towards the sky. And now find the space between those two points where you're getting your best stretch and hold them. You need to lower chin to chest again, and then bringing left ear to left shoulder.
again, keeping the left ear to the left shoulder, lower the chin slightly down. And lifting the chin slightly up. And then finding your best stretch between those two points. It may be completely different on this side. And then lowering chin to chest. On your inhale, lift the face back up. You're now going to turn the gaze up towards the sky, keeping the back of the neck long. Start to push your lower jaw forward. And you should feel a lovely stretch down the side of the TMJ and into the front of the throat. Releasing from there, sitting upright. Turn the jaw from one side to the other. And releasing that space. If you want to give yourself a little massage into the jaw afterwards, it can be a nice sense of release. Keep the spine upright, hands to the knees again. Turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale to the center and turn the gaze over the left shoulder. And inhale to the center. Lift up from the base of the spine, engaging all the way through the torso as you float your arms up to the sky. If the shoulders are very tight and you can only manage to bring the arms out in front, that's absolutely fine. Just as high as works for you with the alignment of your body. We'll twist now to the right, bringing the right hand to your chair and the left hand to your thigh. Lift up on your inhale breath, engage the tummy muscles, and then gently rotate over to the right side. Make sure your neck is not going too far in the twist. We're twisting from the core and relaxing the neck. Inhale to the center again, floating the arms up to the sky and then twisting to the left. So now the left hand comes to the chair and the right hand to the outer leg. Lift up tall and exhale to twist. On your inhale breath, returning to the center. Holding lightly to the knees, you might want to scooch forward a little bit on the chair, making sure you have some space behind you. And as you inhale, you're gonna stick the tailbone out, lift the chest, arching into the back, and draw the shoulder blades together. As you exhale, you're going to round into the spine, tuck the chin to the chest, and squeeze the tummy. Inhale to lift up, open the throat, draw the shoulders back. Exhale to round into the back, squeezing in through the tummy. Flow with your own breath here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Deep, controlled breath. Let's inhale, coming into neutral spine again, lifting up tall. Floating the arms up with an inhale breath. And then bringing the right hand next to the hip and leaning to that right side. Reach the right fingers down, reach the left fingers over and press your left hip into the floor. On the inhale breath, lifting back up the center, soften the shoulders as you reach the fingers up. And then coming to the other side, so bringing the left hand down and now leaning over to that left side. You're stretching the side body long, pressing the hips to the, the chair and reaching the fingers in the opposite direction. Inhaling back to the center. Bring the hands to the thighs. Lift your spine up tall and imagine there's a ruler from head to tail. Keeping that ruler straight as you start to hinge yourself forward, engaging into lower belly. And then really reach head and tail away from one another, lifting the chest and opening through the front body. Press firmly into the feet to lift back up and use the tummy muscles so the back is not overextending. This time we're going to flop, drop the head, drop the shoulders, 
round your back and slowly melt your way all the way down over the front thighs. At the bottom, you can shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then pressing into the feet to lift yourself back up. Engage the tummy, engage the thighs, unwinding a little bit by a little bit. Hands to the thighs again. Taking us into some shoulder rolls, nice big circles with the shoulders. Connect the movement and your breath. We're still breathing in belly, ribs and chest. It's not as deep as it is when we are in a restorative space. We're still getting the full activation of the lungs. Change the direction. Breathing from the diaphragm right up to the top of the rib cage. And then coming back to center. Let's take the hands out in front of you and flick the fingers. Nice extended reach with those fingers, opening the hands wide. And then taking the wrists into a big roll. Change the direction of the roll, other way around. And now bring the palms parallel to one another. Reach your right arm back as though you're pulling a bow. So you engage into the fist and you pull that elbow back, feeling the resistance, and then open the arm behind you. Take the arm up and over, parallel to the front again. Left hand this time, making a fist, and actually feel the resistance of that bow. Pulling it back, extend the arm behind you, and then bring the hand up and over. Release the hands for a moment and a few little gentle shrugs up and down. Lifting to the ears and then pushing away from the ears. Coming into a wrist extension. Have the left hand facing in so the palm is facing forward. Run your right hand over the forearm, down the palm, and then pulling all five fingers back. So don't forget about your thumb. Reaching all five fingers towards that forearm. You should feel a stretch along the top of the forearm and over the front of the hand. And then turning it around. So have the palm now facing in. And again, you're going to come over the forearm, over the wrist. And this time, tuck all your fingers in and then wrap your, wrap your thumb around to make a little fist. And then gently pull the fist towards you. Yeah, you should feel the stretch over the top of the forearm and over the top of the hand. And then a little shake to release. Right hand in this time, palm facing forward, coming over the forearm, over the wrist, and then all five fingers pulling in. Don't forget the thumb. Changing it to the other way around, have the palm facing in, pull over the front of the forearm, over the wrist, Wrap the fingers in, bring the thumb around the little fist, and then gently pull your fist, your fist towards you. You can keep the elbow and the shoulder soft as you do this. And then again, just a little shake to release. Can we just sit forward now on the chair if you haven't done so already? Lifting up into the core muscles. Feel engagement into the lower belly. And we're going to start to lift one leg and then lift the other. So the spine lifts tall as you lift your knee up towards the shoulder. Lift and lower. Getting as high as you can. Work the tummy muscles as you do this. And then we're going to get a little bit faster. And a little bit faster. Until you feel like you are running on the chair. Lifting those knees up high, lightly touching onto the floor, so try not to slam the foot down. Let's see if you can go even faster. And five, four, three, two, and one. Stop. Let's stretch those legs out in front of you. 
Start with the toes pointing. If you can get the big toe into the mat, that's great. If not, just pointing as best you can. Lift the spine up and we're going to forward fold over those straight legs. Lift slightly up. You're now going to flex into those feet, lifting the toes, reaching the heels away as you forward fold again. And then inhaling, coming back to center. Rebend into the knees. Let's take the right leg up, holding onto the shin. Sit as tall as you can. So the hands are just very lightly holding the leg. The core and the leg are doing most of the work. Let's work into some ankle rolls. Nice big rotation of the ankle. Find the breath here. Breathing belly, ribs, chest. Change the direction of your ankle roll, other way around. And then working into a toe stretch. So place your foot next to the chair. You're going to have the heel lifting and pressing firmly down into the big toe. Your knee will start to drop to the floor. Make sure the rest of the body feels relaxed but upright at the same time. And then turning the toes around, so now the toe nails are facing down and you're dropping over the front of the foot. So we're stretching over the front of the foot, up the front of the ankle and into the front of the shin. And then gently releasing from there. Take the right leg, leg back up, hold it underneath the thigh this time. Again, sitting up tall, very light into the arms, the legs holding itself up. On the inhale breath, point the toes as you straighten, and then exhale to flex and bend. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, just lifting as high as you can. Inhale, last time. Five, four, three, two, one. So flex the foot, bend the knee, and release. Coming now into a knee massage. So have one thumb above the knee, one thumb below the knee. And you're going to rub from one side to the other gentle rotation into that kneecap and then either side so one thumb to each side and up and down so alternating the up and down bringing the two middle fingers now to the point of the 12 on the clock and then you do a little circle on the 12 and then you go around onto each point of the clock Little circle, press, circle, press. Moving through all the different hours. Coming back to the top. Now we're going to squeeze the leg as though it was a tube of toothpaste, working out any swelling or edema that you might find into the lymphatic system of the leg, all the way down over the ankles, over the toes, and moving it all out. Coming back to sit. We're now going to take your left knee into the chest, holding onto the shin to begin, working into a nice big ankle roll. Often one ankle is much more flexible than the other. You might feel a little strange on the one side, but just keep going. And then the other way, nice big ankle roll. Working into toe stretch, so coming onto the top of the foot, pressing the big toe down, the baby toe down, and then you lift the heel up. Find a comfortable meditative space for the rest of the body. And then let's turn that around, so now the toe nails are going to face down, drop the knee and feel the stretch along the front of the foot 
ankle and shin. And then lifting back up to center. Now taking the knee up and holding underneath your left thigh. Grow the spine up tall, open up the heart, open up the elbows. We're going to inhale, lift, flex, and bend. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, exhale. Last one, and holding here, five, four, three, two, and one. Flex, bend, and lower. Coming into the knee massage. One thumb above, one thumb below, and then alternating the direction. One hand either side of the knee and rubbing up and down. Coming into the point of the clock, two middle fingers, pressing into 12, and then moving down, 11, 10, and through all the different hours of the clock. If you find a space that's a bit tender, you can hold there for a moment, just working into that point. Into the toothpaste squeeze, so working over through the edema, and again, if you're finding a space that feels a little bit um, swollen. You can hold and give a few more strokes over that uh, tight, delicate area until you're all the way off and coming back to sit. Let's take us into a standing position now. So you're going to stand up and come to the back of your chair. Stepping your feet hip distance wide, make sure that the middle toe lines up with the hip joint. Hands lightly onto the back of your chair, and we'll step back through the one leg, bending into the front knee. So here the spine is lifting upright, and you're really anchoring down through your back heel. You're going to hold here and breathe deeply. On your inhale breath, start to straighten into the front leg, keeping your spine lovely and long as you fold down, bringing the elbows onto the back of the chair. You can, of course, adjust your stance according to how you're feeling. You can step further or closer. Depending on the kind of chair that you're using, you can get the chest lower or higher. And then inhale to lift back up to center. You're going to step the back foot in and then switch the other leg around. Bending into that front knee and lifting up tall. Inhale to straighten the front leg and exhale to fold over the chair. And coming into a full body stretch. Let's step both feet forward to begin. Holding lightly to the back of the chair, and then step both feet back until you can get your heels more or less in line with your hips. The feet are open, hip distance wide, and now we're dropping the chest down. On every exhale, feel that release into the upper back. Relax your head. Getting a lovely stretch into the front of the chest, along the upper back into the back of the thighs, the calf muscles. You can even keep the legs straight or soft, whatever feels better for you. Just 
just enjoy this full body stretch, reaching hips away from hands. When you're ready to lift up, you're going to round your back and then walk forward using the core muscles to facilitate coming forward. Turning now to face sideways on your chair. You're going to again make sure that the feet are hip distance parallel, toes lining up with hips, lining up with shoulders. Bringing your outer hand to your hip and then pressing the weight onto the foot closest to the chair. Start to lift onto the toes of your outer leg. Maybe you stay here or maybe you bring your heel to stand onto the top of your foot. If this feels comfortable and you want to go a little bit deeper, you can start to work your foot onto your calf muscle. Remember to keep the spine lifting up tall, that's the most important part here, growing up through the foundation and the core. You can float one hand to hover just above the, the floor, and then if you feel confident, you can take both hands out to the side. If this is not available to you today, keep the hand onto the chair or the foot onto the floor. Breathing here. And then let's gently release. Bring the foot down to the floor. So you can either just turn around and face the opposite side, or maybe you want to bring your chair to the other side if you are facing your computer screen. And again, check the alignment. So middle toes line up with hips, line up with shoulders. Grow the body tall, even the core is active from the beginning. Let's shift the weight into the leg closest to the chair, coming onto the toes, outer hand to the hip. You can stay here, or you can bring your heel onto the top of your foot. You can stay here, or maybe bring a foot to the calf muscle. Try not to let the hip drop to the side as you do this, stay upright. Maybe floating one hand out. Maybe floating two hands out. And then slowly releasing. Well done. Okay, coming back to sit on your chair. Aiming for a very comfortable seat this time. So maybe you want to lean slightly back in the chair, depending on how your chair is shaped. You do want the spine to stay upright, even if it is in a more relaxed position, keeping that spine open, hands gently resting to the thighs. your eyes softly closed, take a moment to just be in this space, in this breath, in this moment, knowing that you have complete freedom, freedom from stress, freedom from worry, you can just simply exist in the lightness and the security of this moment. And this moment is available to you at any point. All you need to do is close your eyes and bring yourself back into the sensation. Draw the hands together at the heart center in Anjali Mudra, feeling the connection of the thumbs against the heart. Slowly lowering your chest and your chin down to your chest rather. Slowly opening your eyes.
thank you for joining me today and I hope you're feeling a little bit better, a little bit more mobile and a whole lot calmer. Hope to see you soon.